Hello and welcome to my third installment of my SDL slash OpenGL tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to move an image with the keyboard and mouse so I'm going to start off by adding a few variables and those variables would be ones holding the mouse X and mouse Y and then the next variable is the ones that are being held by the keyboard controlled image so Y equals 40 that's around the middle of the screen and we're going to have some variables to hold whether we have keys left or down key right up and down are all I'm just gonna these all these will check to see if the keys are up or down and we're gonna have a another another variable to hold SDL events which basically tell us when something happens when in SDL. So now we are going to have to add the main loop for the game, the game loop. So right around here, add while not quit. That's just saying that if we haven't quit the game with the X button or whatever on system that you're using, hasn't quit yet. It's kind of self explanatory. So if we run it now, it will go around the loop forever, but you can't exit out of it, so don't do that. So I'm going to set the delay here to 60 FPS, so that's exit set to 60 FPS. And we're going to add something right here, while SDL poll event, and address to event and we're going to add an if statement saying if the event type equals SDL quit then we set our quit variable to true so now if we run we'll see yes he can't move but yeah that's what it's going to do if we hit the X button it will X out like it should so now that we've done that, we want to add the event for catching the keyboard. So event type equals SDL key down. And we're going to add switch event dot key dot key sim dot sim. And we're going to add some cases to the switch. So our first case would be SDL K left. It's a uh, constant that holds the the I don't know number of the key code for the left key. So key left equals true. Whoops. And we're gonna do a break there. So now we just repeat that for left, up, right, and down. So here those are left, right. So right goes to key right, up goes to key up, down goes to key down. Okay, so now we have to do that for SDL key up, which catches it when it when you release the key, and only then. So all these will have to be set to false now. So just go ahead and do that. So it can catch the keys now, but it won't be able to do anything with them because we haven't made anything move with it yet. But also, we are going to add moving the mouse with the mouse. So event type equals SDL mouse motion. And in here we have mouse X equals event dot motion X. And now mouse, we're going to do that for mouse Y. And that would be it for there. So we have our variables being set by the, mouse, by the mouse position and the key position. Or Yes. So now we're going to make things move around when we have the keys down. So if 
key left equals just key left then x minus 2 so it's gonna go left and then we kind of do the same thing for right so if key equals right or key right sorry and do x plus 2 and we say do the same thing for up and down but for up and down we use y and y plus 2 y minus 2 so down this plus and right is plus so down here we're going to have our image move along with the keyword so gl translate f the x will be our x variable the y will be our y variable and z will be equal to z zero so we have it move now it's gonna just go off screen after a half a after one frame because we're not having it reset its position so what we need to do is create a push matrix to push the current I don't know I'd say position world position of everything and then after we set it after we also draw the thing we reset the world back to what it was so every single time it would just go back to the translating where it wants do we want it to be so now we have our person where we want him to be and you can move him with the keyboard but and let's also color him blue to distinguish him from the other player that we're about to add so actually let's color him red for player one all right so now we're also going to add another player and he's going to be the one mouse controlled so instead of making him red we're going to make him blue and the x and y here would be mouse x and mouse y so now if we run this we can have the one with controlled by the mouse and one controlled by the keyboard yay and I will be posting the source code on my website so make sure to check that out uh, if you had you enjoy this thanks for watching uh, I really appreciate it I'm sure you appreciate this tutorial too alright I'll see you next time with our next tutorial goodbye